it seems like uh, two years ago at this point. But uh, yeah, obviously we've, um, I think, established uh, our game and the way we want to play over the last couple of weeks. And, um, you know, going into the playoffs, you kind of want to get into a groove. You want to get into a good feel of your game, a good feel of each other out there on the ice. And I feel like we've we've done that to this point. You got to keep that going, though. We have uh, two two more big weeks here to, to gear up and, you know, and there's uh, still work to be done to, to lock ourselves into to playing in the postseason. So we got to make sure we take care of that first. How about uh, four years ago when you guys had the the, the good run and went uh, uh, into the second round and probably should have won that second round? Is there similarities between what you see now and maybe what you saw back then? I, I honestly couldn't uh, I couldn't answer that that question honestly because I don't uh, I don't look back that far. I'm kind of trying to live right here in the moment. So um, yeah, sorry about that. D Darnell, for you, you, you've always played a lot of minutes against the other team's top players, but since Dave Manson's come in, you know, there's a website that tracks that, that you're up like 47% of your time is against the other team's elite players. Did you, did you have a conversation, say that's how he wants to use Cody, and do you notice it in a game that you're having even more time against the other team's top players? Yeah, that's our role. We go out there and play against uh, the other team's top line. That's, I mean, I've done it. <clears throat> it was probably primarily my role um, in, in junior and um, playing at this level, it's a lot of fun. You go out there and play against some of the top players in the league, and um, I think me and Cease have done a fairly good job to this point. But this uh, this time of year just cranks up a whole whole other level. So it's uh, it's a great role. It's also a role that where there's not uh, not a lot of room for error. So um, when you're when you're playing against the the top lines, you're the things that you do well are usually um, not uh, not spotlighted, not uh, don't show up. But the things that uh, when you mess up and, and the things that you don't do right, um, they're they're pretty glaring. So um, it's uh, it's a role that's fun, but it's a role that comes with uh, with some pressure. We got to be on each night. Everybody in any league, you know, the best players are highly competitive. You always want to face the best, but there's also Drew Doughty said you got to have a real short memory. When you go up against the best players, some days they're going to beat you, and if you dwell on it, it's it's not going to help you. Uh, do you kind of have a, a, a football, a, like a defensive back mentality? You get beat for a big touchdown, it's like whatever. Does it matter? Have you incorporated that, or is that hard to learn to to not get upset at yourself if you get beat by a good player? I mean, we're all competitors. So anytime you, you when you get to this level, you usually uh, are pretty hard on yourself. But like that's that's a pretty good analogy. My dad always told me that growing up, you got to be like a DB uh, as a defenseman. You're gonna get beat every once in a while. Those guys got jobs to do too, um, but uh, you just move on and make sure uh, it doesn't happen again. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely one of those things where, when you know the other team scores or another guy makes a good play, you just you know park it and move on and and uh, jump right back into it. Mike Smith was talking after the game about the level of detail that Jay Woodcroft and Dave Manson have you guys dialed in on and focused on. Well, uh, what's the key to kind of staying dialed in to that level? Because obviously everybody would want to be all the time. How do you? How have you guys been able to keep that focus on those details? I mean, just consistent messaging from Jay and Mance and um, Gully Wise, uh, the whole staff. You know, consistent messaging, and then the messaging too within the locker room, within uh, within the group. Um, obviously, when you put things into into place, it's, it's always good. You're, you're going to go through stretches, especially early on, where everyone's really on top of it. But after that, it, it really falls on everyone in the group. Uh, from coaches to players uh, to, to the equipment staff, everyone, you know, to to really hammer home those those points and make sure that uh, each and every day we're, we're trying to play at the same level with the same amount of detail. You, you just can't let that slip. I imagine results make a big difference too. Like when you're asked to really focus in on things and you get the kind of results you guys have been getting, that has to really help everybody kind of buy in in that way. Yeah, 100%. Um, it shows in this league, like every... Every team plays different different systems, and every system works to an extent if you follow it uh, w within your structure, within your within your team, and, and guys buy in, and that's what's happening now, and it's it's, it's really worked. Guys have, have bought in, and like I said, the, the messaging's been consistent, and um, it's got to continue. A lot of hard hockey ahead. Darnell, I just wonder, do you, did you have a chance to see Dave Manson play at the very end of his career? Are you, are you uh, no. <laughs> did, so when you came in and you got a chance to work with him, did you know much about him? Did you know kind of his, his background? Not really, like a little bit, but not really, um, to be honest. And I know 
Drat had played for him in, in PA and, you know, had great things to say about him. And then, you know, we had uh, a few guys that uh, played in Baco. Uh, there's watch. And, again, like everyone you talk to that's played for Mance. And we've only had him for a short time, but I'd be on the same same page. Like, he's a, he's a great, great coach. And, um, you know, he expects a lot from us as a, as a group. But at the same time, um, you know, gives us those tools to uh, be able to go out there and do it. Does his um, philosophy or the way he played as a player, does it kind of mesh with you? You guys seem to maybe play a little bit of a similar game in terms of, you know, rough and uh, kind of around the net and that type of thing. Does, to, to, was there a connection made there? Yeah. yeah, I think, you know, talking to everyone who, who either played against them or, or watched them, you know, he played the game in, in all three situations or sorry, both both ends of the both of the ends of the ice really well and um, you know was was tough and, and hard and something that uh, I want to bring bring each night so it's definitely uh, it's good to get to bounce uh, some ideas off him as well as you know take some of the the lessons and details that he's, he's trying to help uh, help me learn and continue to you know push in, in my own game so yeah he's been uh, he's been great so far and looking forward to continuing to learn you ever watched any old highlights or YouTube clips of, of any of the uh Kind of notorious stuff. No, I haven't watched it. I haven't watched any of that. So the the team's playing better defensively, team defense, and the whole thing. Was that sort of an evolution that you could see growing, and and you're at this point, or did maybe something click uh, not that long ago? No, I think it's a progression of of our season, a progression of our our group. It's this time of the year. If you're not playing well defensively, you're not going to win. Uh, you know. For us, we want to find our way into the playoffs and and, and give ourselves uh, an opportunity at, at playing late in the se- late into the season. So, um, without uh, bringing in those defensive details, you, you know you can't win games this time of year, and that's uh, where we've been focusing. And the goaltending numbers are are up a lot better. Is that sort of a byproduct of maybe what the, everybody else is doing? Yeah, I think it might be a little bit of a combination of everything. Um, at the same time, our goalies have been. Uh, spectacular out there each and every night battling um, when they're asked to make a big save at, uh, at big moments in games they're doing it and for us uh, you know it's there's a, a ton of confidence playing in front of them because you know that they're going to make those huge saves at, uh, at big moments so we've been very fortunate. It kind of seems like the time of year has everybody's attention that everybody's more dialed in defensively goaltending just the whole deal is that just the human nature of we're going down the stretch here and it's time to buckle up? Yeah, if you want to, like I said before, if you want to have any success in this league late in the season, that's the type of details that you have to bring to your game. And, um, no, but we want to be one of those teams that has success here late.